This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Susan Faulkner, Evans, and Bo. And we're working on, we've added ground poles and Cavaletti today to increase his adjustability. Good. Tap him right there. Were you feeling him getting a little bit? That's it. That's it. Praise him. Good. Now keep him up. They're competing in second level. Test three, amateur owner. And in fact, have won three Dover medals in a row. For second level three, amateur owner. Bo is an American warm blood. Frisian, Swedish warm blood cross. Yep, that's where he needs more activity. You felt it. You felt it as soon as he wasn't stretching up into your rein from your hand is the technical word. Good, get him to step up more. Good, now try to keep that as you go away. And then you're gonna come around and do the higher Cavaletti. They're set at like six to eight inches. Excuse me while I back up to fix this pole here. These poles are set at four feet apart for the walk and the trot. So three, four, I'm counting out the steps. There we go. Bo doesn't think he has, that's it, that's it. Now keep him up, keep him up higher. That's it, because you're adjusting him now, feel it? Praise him. Good. That's it. Yep, when you feel him getting stuck, you're going to get a little bit more assertive with your leg. That's right. Good. More activity. A lot more activity. So sometimes what Bo does in the ring is he'll shut down and say no. So that's one of the issues we're also working at with him today. Good. Keep him active. More active. More active. And active means he's stepping under from behind. Keep him active. Touch him with the whip lightly. Touch him. Oh, he says he can't do it. This is hard because the horses really have to think about where their feet are. And again, we're doing this to work through some of Bo's issues. And of course, to get him into more of a balance and adjustability for second level three. In preparation for third level. That's it. Good, good. Keep him active. Now, when you, after you've gone through the Cavaletti, you're going to try to maintain this collected type of walk. More activity. Good. Do you feel him stepping under you different? Good. Now, try to get him to step under you there like he's going over the Cavaletti. Good. So, you'll have to shorten the front end until he lifts his shoulders. And then add the back end so he picks you up under the saddle. Yep. Keep checking that he's soft in the jaw. Those are the steps to connection. First, the horse has to be soft on both sides of the jaw. Then they release their neck, their pole, I should say, then their neck. Good, good, good. Keep them stepping up from behind. Keep them, keep that adjustability with them. More, more. Good, Susan. Now keep that walk after he does it. There. Do you feel how you have a different kind of a walk now? She said yes. What do you feel different in this walk? More marching, more connected. So now your goal is to keep it as connected as you can in the marching. And then we're gonna go right into the trot just so he doesn't get bored. That's it, good, keep it, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. That's it, good. Now you'll notice when you get ready for your transition, he might get a little stuck, right? And that's where you're working on your adjustability. That was good. Okay, now you're going to adjust him by making sure he's coming up from your leg into the rain. Yes, good. Praise him. That's it. And he's going to say, oh my gosh, this is so hard. Yep, keep softening his jaw. So we're asking him to lift his shoulders higher by doing this than we have in the past. So at first he's going to take short steps. He needs to have more activity from behind. I know it's a catch-22 because you're trying to get his shoulders and pull up higher at the same time. That's right, more activity. More activity. Good, more activity. Needs a lot more activity. So Susan today said she wanted to work on adjustability and that's what we're doing. Good, good. Keep them up. All right, now you're going to play going between your trots. This is your medium or working? Good, good. Make it a medium, keeping him uphill with more activity. More, tap, 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 tap. Yes, because he has to show the difference. That's it, you can do a medium over the flat ones. Good, keep him up, tap, tap, tap. Woohoo! <laughs> he had to really think about that one. 
So that's what he does in the medium. You, you felt that feeling, right? So normally, the, you know, you, sometimes in the medium going across the diagonal, he drops himself at the center line type of thing. That's what he's doing over the Cavaletti. So the Cavaletti, the flat ones, are going to teach you how to keep him connected regardless of the trot you're doing. Think shoulder in. Look between his ears. Make sure you can see the bend. Good. That's it. Keep softening his jaw. More activity. That's right, and go over the Cavaletti again, thinking medium. Now you, you're gonna keep them together a little bit so you can keep them more adjustable. Keep them together, keep them together. That's it, keep them together. That's all right, keep them together. Good, good, good. Okay, right let me reset them for you. So these poles are set four feet apart and you can see that Bo has knocked one of them apart. That's me walking. Yes, I'm filming as I'm coaching and that's why you see the movement of the camera. I have tried a tripod. Doesn't work. Because I trip over it. Four. So I'm measuring the distance four feet. Putting it back there. Putting this one back. I take you on a journey of setting up fences, right? Alright, let me make sure. Three, four. trotting around here. Four. All right. All right, try them now. So it's nice to have a ground person to help you set up poles if you're using ground poles. But if not, you just have to be able to, that's it. Keep them together, keep them together. Oh, there, feel that bounce? Your goal is to keep that spring in his trot. Good. Now these are set at 10 feet, so you can use these for the medium trot. I mean, the medium are the lengthening. You'll have to stretch a little bit more over them. Yep, and your goal now is going to feel if you can feel that spring. So these are just set a foot longer. Keep the spring. Feel that spring? Yep, you felt. How many steps did he give you spring? That's impulsion. Good. Keep them adjusted. Yep. Your goal is to keep that spring. Good preparation, Susan. That's all right. He's saying it's hard. It is. That's it. Get the spring. You know what you need there. Oh, that's great. So what she said is she's feeling he drops his neck and shoulders. That's perfect. You can't keep that same activity being hot, that high up at this point. So at this point, that's exactly which right. Is the, uh, which is it supposed to be? It's supposed to be keeping the activity as he stays up. No, you're not, but this is what's going to develop that because that's the missing thing. To get the adjustability you need and the changes in the gates is he's got to be able to lift his shoulders up a little bit more so he can show more of that expression. That was a good question. <laughs>